Hey guys, it's Tayman2037, and right now, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Mario ROM hack. Uh, this is The Mushroom Factor by Pablo Peach, I think that said his name was. And I'm going to be starting a new file. I played through uh, the first couple levels, so I kind of have a general idea of what I'm doing. And I didn't really read the README. Looks like there's not even there's not even an intro here. Plays the, the the intro music and kind of just starts you off with like a little mini puzzle. Since I was stupid, I didn't know what to do right away. But basically, just grab this key. Oh, too far. And you just put it here, and you gotta go through go through the gate, not the gate, the pipe, and brings you through there. Mario and Bowser have both reached a live grand final, the Mushroom Factor. But will Mario make it to the venue alive? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. And next time on Dragon Ball Z, five hours of shit that no one cares about. And the guy said, "This, this, this isn't for ROM hacks. I mean, this isn't for ROM hacks." You don't, you're not supposed to use save states, but I've played through it, and save states are kind of handy, because you can get, you can get stuck, and have no way of leaving, without dying. And I consider that being save states. Alright. Let's just hope I can remember how to do these puzzles, they weren't too tough. Got it. Basically, these, these red blocks are kind of like your power switches, if you hit one of those, it turns these coin blocks into actual coins so we can get past there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Just jump back on there. I right, got a one up. Fucking stop, you piece of shit. Alright. Don't need that anymore. Right, let me just jump up here. Grab that. And it's kind of neat, because you can see down below that they kind of just show off. The guy shows off that you can hit these blocks, they, they're basically your, the, those yellow blocks with the faces on them. But unlike the PAL blocks, they don't have the, 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 ta the countdown, like, you kind of have to estimate when it's gonna, you have to estimate when it's, when it's gonna exit. Oh, that, that room there, I should probably, yeah, I guess I can go back in for some reason. See, I don't know if I, I haven't gotten far enough. Maybe I can't beat this room yet. If if the guy is watching, he wants to send me a message, tell me what I'm doing wrong. But either I need... I don't know what I need. Because you can see, like, there's a key right there. And a keyhole. But the key's surrounded by some stuff, so... I mean, Yoshi could reach his tongue through there, but I don't know how he'd get up there. I'm wondering if maybe one of these is a hidden block that turns all these into the one stuff. And then you can't even really get through there. Oh, oh, I guess you can there. But, like I guess I don't really know how to get over there. Oh, jeez. <coughs> ah, I was just sneezing. Just like when Morgan Freeman sneezed in the electric company and blew out the room. So we'll just skip that by not, but right for now. Right, maybe I'll come back to it. And that's that's the intro stage. That's, Pretty easy level. It's just, like I said, it's just the intro. I think it does a good job of setting up the puzzles. The puzzles are pretty neat. I like them. I, I like the overview music. It kind of gives you the impression of a showdown. Showdown. And this is really neat. This is also neat because later on we're going to hit the yellow switch thing. See, and... Like, I, at first I have to go through this part of the level, right there. But then once I hit the yellow switch, that'll close off, and then I'll have to come down here and go through this part of the level. And I'm thinking it's like, it's dual pass or something. <laughs> so it's kind of a... Like, you won't be able to get to this area after that, so if you're trying to collect all the... Ah, oh, shit, I left. But yeah, you can leave any level by, just going, by going off the side, if there is a side. If you're at a part of the level that has a side. Let's do a save here. So yeah, since I played through this, you won't have to see me trying to figure out the puzzles. Even though they're probably not really that tough, you probably some of you will be thinking like, Oh, Tay man, how did you ever have a problem with that area? Oh, oh. And I'm a Mario World elitist. Yeah, well, shut the fuck up. I haven't played Super Mario World in a while. 
I guess we should fill through the outbox. Hey, bro, if you don't reach the castle, Bowser will win on forfeit. And we both know Bowser's not above a little foul play. Luigi. It's kind of neat that they're sending you some messages. Yeah, I mean, this stuff's like, the puzzles are pretty simple right now. Um, I, I'm not playing further because I've gone through this one section where I, I literally have no idea what to do. And, here, let's, let's rewind a little bit. Because I wasn't supposed to go down there yet. There's a, there's a lot of cool shell tricks. I like jumping on the blocks off the wall. The shells are pretty important. Let's jump on this guy. Oh, hidden mushroom. I... Ah, we don't need that. I didn't know this right away first. You might hear the Sonic music playing. Do a little save state. And we gotta... So the shell comes. Gotta keep that on screen so it doesn't disappear. I really, I really like this. It hits that exact go. Hit that, and it frees a shell that was surrounded by some blocks. Damn it! Uh, jump off the block. This nice simple platforming. Let's see one of those platforms that were in the later stage of the original Super Mario World. Do another kick and. It basically just runs itself. And here we have another kick thing. Uh, go down here. And we can grab the Yoshi coin. Not that I'll be really grabbing all of them. And we go down here to the next part of the level. And this part I didn't wasn't able to figure out right away. But, nice level design. What am I doing? I don't really need to hit that. But there's just one up in there. However, I do need to grab that spring. Let's not get hit by the thing. Nice old, old tracks. I think in the beginning of the game here, they had, um... Shit. The beginning of the game, they had the, the one theme from Mario 2. One of the songs from there. Piece of shit. Alright. Now, I, I, I wasn't sure how to do this right away. At first, I like I brought down the other spring, so I, like, I'd hop off the spring. Because like, you, can't, you can't get all the way up there with one spring, so I had like two springs, and I'd, I did the trick where you jump off the other one in midair. But no, we just do that. Because we, we need the shell, too, down there. And... Okay, we need to hit this. Uh, damn it. Okay, we just need to. Okay, now we're good. Basically, we need to. Okay, we'll set up our shot there. And put the spring here, jump up. And that should be the level pretty soon. We're on the other side. Oh, that, see that? Shit. Did that do anything here? Ah, uh, didn't get any points. It's kind of funny though, because they make it look like you're gonna go into a Kaizo trap. <laughs> because it ends, you you finish the stage right before you you fall down. Ah, uh, oh no, no, we made it. All right, continue and save. I mean, I'll do. This is a Switch Palace, and you only have 60 seconds. Here, let's let's load because I don't want to waste any time. Because it's actually pretty tough. I mean, like, yeah, that's maybe, like, one thing the guy could improve on, I'd think. Maybe just, I don't know, like, let us know when when I hit the red switch, like, with the red switch that changes the coins and, and stuff. That, like, just let us know when that when that's gonna when it could expire. And then just, like, let us know when, when there's not much time left. Because, like, I had no idea. I was like, why am I dying here? And ah, oh, damn it, damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! What's this? Uh, let, damn it! Okay, I'll we'll save here. All right, now I think we have a little more time. Damn it! 
Uh, this is not doing very well at the moment. But yeah, I'm gonna end on this level because I don't think I figured out how to finish the next level yet. Like I said, there's this puzzle I just have no fucking idea how to do. I mean, if, if screensaver do not go on, maybe I should turn that off, but basically just gotta clear that. We hit the big... Please do not press this button again. I mean, we've already pressed it, and it doesn't look like it's gonna become unpressed anytime soon. So all we need the key for, not a key switch, but the knock a block aside. Because <laughs> we could have... <laughs> it puts in skull blocks. Alright, we'll continue to save, we'll do a save state. And that's all for this segment of... If I can remember what it's called. The Mushroom Factor by... I forget his name. Pablo Peach. Alright, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I like the, the simple, the little puzzles. Oh, uh, the one I'm st if I'm stuck already at this one part of this level, though, I'm not looking forward to the rest of it. I'll have to ask you for some help, or I'll try to figure it out. So, just any comments, feedback, just let me know, and have a good day. See you later, folks.